Feeling a chill, Magic? You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky, trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. You were trying to figure out how to bring Wanda back. Close, Hunter. But no. Something much more sinister has grabbed my attention. Sinister? When I was holding the transdimensional door for you back there, I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. What did you see, Ileana? I did not see, I said. I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in Limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. We should inform the others of any potential danger. Warn them of what? One of Magic's airy-fairy gut feelings? The Avengers are already unsure of us. I do not need to add to that. Best not to say anything until I am better able to articulate it. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. I still have a lot of thinking to do, while I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through Limbo. I will let you know if I do. Good girl, Charlie. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. I need to get something off my chest. Go for it. I can't stand vampire movies. Why not? Why do you think? They take vicious killers and present them as tragic and misunderstood. I know someone like that. Who? Well, I would say look in the mirror, but I do not know what you would see. Oh no. Only one way I'd be a movie vampire. Oh? If I was there to kill all the other vampires. I would watch that. They could call it Stakeout. Why not just Blade? Eh, yeah, I could take it or leave it. Didn't expect to have that much fun. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. 
Instead of letting it rest, you decide to reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah, I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered, together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Sarah had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments. <laughs> Why do I feel like you are going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old, dead woman. <sighs> Hocus pocus. Ah, <sighs> you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. 
Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key? Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck. still holds. What was Wanda up to here? One more to go. She believes in our purpose. An elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar. There. Finished. The Moon Seals are ancient talismans of the Old Gods. And in your case, they are the keys to unlocking an even greater gift. Is that why Wanda was here? In pursuit of this gift? Just as we started with you as a child, I allowed Wanda to experiment here, with the hope of focusing her powers through training in basic elemental magic. But that is not what happened. Wanda's connection to the old gods, to Cthon, was not the same as yours. She isn't descended from the blood, and the trials weren't meant for her. But you knew this before she started. I did. And you should understand that I regret not putting a stop to her efforts sooner. Then what really happened here? When Wanda tried to use this moon seal to access the next trial, the Bloodgate didn't open, but the Seal's power did have an effect. She had visions, both terrible and somehow alluring at the same time. What started as idle curiosity became a compulsion for her. And now I am on the same path. So, where is the next Bloodgate? Beyond the Standing Stones, if memory serves. I doubt you'll have any trouble finding it. The second Bloodgate. I should warn you, Hunter. You may find the trial ahead more difficult than I originally let on. The gods will push you harder, and you might very well fail. 
And if I do? You dust yourself off and you get back in there. Or you train, rethink your approach and come back later, when you feel ready. And what if I am hurt? Or worse still, what if something happened to Charlie? Neither of you will be harmed, dear. That's not what this is about. The Elder Gods want to see what you're made of, but they're not out to get you. Well, except Cathan, but you already knew that. Then I should make an attempt while I'm here. I'm sure you'll be fine. Just enjoy yourself. You're the only one getting an opportunity like this. I will do my best. Oh, and Hunter? I should mention, you'll only be able to make one attempt at the trials per night. Even the old gods grow weary of their children eventually. Good luck. When many of the Elder Gods were corrupted and became what we would call demons, the God Atum, born from Gaia herself, was set upon our world to slay these monsters. In that sense, the two of you have had a shared well, and he may just honor you with his blessing. Too weak for this fight. Possibly match your strength. Leave some for the rest of us. Don't think I will forget that. A tomb was unleashed and made quick work of the he became something of a monster himself. He even became known as the Demogorg, the God Eater. If this is a cautionary tale, your timing could use some work.
feel my call. Take advantage while they focus on me. Our resolve cannot be broken. Just imagine how much more difficult this would be if Charlie wasn't there to join you. I think you owe her a treat after this. The light will carry you on. The power of the light. Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Oh, the light gift! Welcome, assistants. I think Blade is honestly jealous that you're getting this And with live targets, too. Return to your mother. shall be of great help. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago.
that doesn't make an impression on Autumn, I don't know what will. Good work, Hunter. With a tomb's health, you shouldn't have any trouble uncovering the more elusive elements hidden throughout the grounds. Why don't you try out his blessing on that stone over there? Seize our path. I see you found one of the elemental rods. If you'd like to keep going, you may keep searching for more. I see you found another of our mystic landmarks. These are the Standing Stones. Your ancestors among the blood used them to converse with the Elder Gods. How does that work? Members of the blood would gather among the stones and enter a sort of meditative trance. They say the gods would hear their thoughts, but the blood never knew for sure who was listening on the other end. Some of the older texts refer to a series of glyphs etched on the stones, but at first glance they seem to have been scoured clean by time itself. Could they still be revealed somehow? You read my mind, Hunter. I suspect the glyphs are still here. They just need the right... Words of encouragement, if you catch my meaning. Hunter? After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent... Deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she is not buried here. No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. What do you know about the Moon Seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves. I like to think of a Moon Seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person. Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. You said something earlier, about the blood. 
In a world full of mysteries, the Blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are. One of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much. But I see it again in you, Hunter. So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. Where did the words of power come from? Well, I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And Caretaker used the words as well. Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey Grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Come along, Charlie. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. <laughs> <laughs> 